Hello and welcome to today's explanatory talk about the PCR or in other words the polymerase chain reaction. First of all, what is PCR? It is a really commonly used technique in biology, medicine and forensics. The discovery of PCR was rewarded with the Nobel Prize in 1993. The goal of the polymerase chain reaction is to amplify DNA segments. Let's say we only have a tiny bit of DNA, but want to do several tests on it, to find the killer in a homicide for example. Therefore we can multiply the DNA fragments with the PCR method to have enough gene material or DNA copies to do these tests. The four main ingredients of the polymerase chain reaction are the following. First of all we need a DNA segment that we want to amplify. That is called our DNA template. Further we need nucleotides that will build up the DNA sister strands. But without a polymerase there can't be replication. And this is basically what we are doing. You can think of PCR as a method that allows scientists to assist in carrying out synthetic replications. So we use a special polymerase here. The so-called TAC polymerase was isolated from an extremophile bacterium that lives in hot springs. This allows PCR to work with high temperatures. Last but not least, forward and reverse primers are needed for the TAC polymerase to attach. Now we can jump into the process of PCR. The first step is the denaturation at approximately 95 degrees. Now the double strand is molten apart and by cooling down the temperature to approximately 68 degrees the synthesized primers can now anneal to the DNA template. The last step includes the elongation after the polymerase is bound to the primer region. With the added nucleotides the DNA sister strand is synthesized at about 72 degrees. These three steps consisting of denaturation, annealing and elongation form one cycle. The procedure is repeated several times to amplify the DNA. As you can tell this process is considered exponential since all the newly synthesized DNA segments after one cycle will act as DNA templates for the next cycle. I'd like to share one additional information that might be interesting for some of you. And this is about the role of magnesium chloride that is added in most PCRs. It has two functions. Magnesium forms complexes with desoxyribonucleotriphosphate and helps remove phosphates since the DNA backbone consists of monophosphates instead of triphosphates. It also acts as a cofactor for the TAC polymerase. If you add much magnesium the polymerase will work really fast but it will also tend to make more mistakes. Finding a right concentration is key. Thank you very much for watching and drop some questions in the comments. If you think this video was somehow helpful you can also give it a like.